years. He was released just hours after his arrest. And as Anne Mercagliano reports, that's got plenty of people upset. There are shocking developments in the Fox News Christmas tree arson case. The suspect was released on no bail last night, just hours after he allegedly set the Christmas tree ablaze. DailyMail.com cameras were there. It is a big story. It is the cover of the New York Post. Treason. Grinch sets fire to Fox's Yule display, and he is freed without bail despite a long rap sheet. 49-year-old Craig Tamanaha ranted incoherently as he was freed. He is homeless, and his own father was quoted as saying, he's a nut. He even had the nerve to ask photographers for cigarettes. You know that cigarette? Can you that cigarette? Then off he went into the night. So how could it be that the suspect was freed so quickly? Well, it turns out that setting a fire that does not lead to injuries is considered a misdemeanor under the state's new controversial bail reform law. There is no bail for people charged with misdemeanors, so he walked, even though he allegedly caused a reported half a million dollars in damages. New York Mayor-elect Eric Adams expressed outrage. Here's a person that stated they're going to continue to wreak havoc on our city. Twelve major U.S. cities are seeing record murder rates. Philadelphia has reported 523 homicides so far this year, the highest number since 1990. San Francisco's surge in crime is the focus of national attention. And here are the latest victims. Sisters Catherine and Kimberly were with Catherine's kids sitting in their car when a gang of smashing grab robbers broke the rear windows and took a laptop. That book bag was hanging over the, the headrest behind my four-year-old, and they took it, and she that's when she seen it. She's like, yeah, that ninja just took that book bag. Now get this. The thieves didn't know there was a tracking device on the laptop. The sisters were able to track every move the bad guys were making, but the family says cops haven't done anything, at least not yet. She's still locating it. It's still moving, yeah. you know? So how how is that, that we can locate it but no one can do anything about it. Back in New York, Fox News put up another Christmas tree, hoping this one won't go up in flames. Two, one, light! And in our nation's capital today, former Senate Majority Leader Bob Dole was laid in state at the U.S. Capitol. His widow Elizabeth was helped to the casket where she emotionally said her final goodbyes to her husband. The Navy hero and former presidential candidate died Sunday of lung cancer. He served our country for 79 years.